Pluto is a long way away from the sun, of course. So the, the sun is about 1,500 times fainter than it is here on Earth. So it's very cold. Temperatures drop to around minus 230 degrees Celsius during the night time. In a heat wave, you might get as high as minus 170. It's a very tenuous atmosphere as well. But as we heard there, there are signs of carbon monoxide and methane on the surface. And it's very likely with those very low sort of temperatures that that will actually fall out of the atmosphere as methane snow. And does it have seasons? It does have seasons, but not like we'd know them. It takes 248 Earth years to go round the sun. So winter, for example, lasts about 100 years. In fact, the Southern Hemisphere just coming out of its winter back in March 1987. So we're decades into the spring. Some of that's carbon monoxide and methane ice on the surface is going back into the atmosphere. It'll start falling on the cold North Pole over the next few decades. As Rebecca was saying, are they going to be absolutely all over these photos? What do they hope they might learn about the atmosphere, for example, about those weather patterns from all of that scientific uh, journey? Well, the little they know at the moment is from very distant observations from things like the Hubble Space Telescope, which is just a few pixels. Pluto shows up as a few pixels at that sort of distance. So they should get much more detail, much more information on just what the actual composition of the atmosphere is and hopefully spot some of those weather patterns going on as well.